visible but vital aspects of leadership in this church is the leadership of our board. Nine folks are part of our church board. The chairman is Stuart Hartley. And uh, I'm going to ask Stuart to come up and make an important announcement to us this morning. Stuart, thank you very much indeed. Well, thank you, Charles, and uh, good morning to everybody. I am uh, very excited this morning uh, to announce that after an extensive search (coughs) by our succession committee, which is primarily made up of the board, uh, we have unanimously chosen a new lead lead pastor (laughs) for the People's Church. Although our search was international, God has ultimately led us to someone right here in our church family. Now, our careful and prayerful process began well over a year ago when Charles Price advised the board that he would step down from his role as senior pastor and enable a younger person to give leadership to the church. Charles agreed at that time to remain on staff to the summer of 2016, and that has not changed. The succession committee, I'm I'm tongue-tied this morning, the succession committee searched extensively for a new lead pastor. We considered many candidates with the goal of finding someone who would demonstrate four key attributes that we felt were very important. First one was to be a highly competent teacher. The second was a personal character that is godly, committed to integrity, and loving towards people. The third was a passion for God's global mission, which is sort of the DNA of this church, starting here at home and extending around the world. And finally, proven leadership abilities. Now, throughout our months of meetings, conversations, and interviews, we prayed that the Lord would allow us to unanimously agree on his choice for this important role. Our chosen candidate demonstrates all of the four attributes outlined during the search process. He is a very competent teacher who will now have an opportunity to continue developing that skill as he teaches more regularly here at the People's Church. He demonstrates godly character with integrity and with genuine love for people. He shares the passion of our church to serve in God's global mission, both locally and internationally. He also has proven leadership abilities, serving as the leader in a local missions organization, and he's also had many active roles as leader here at Peoples. So by now you'll be asking, who is our candidate? Well, I'm very pleased to announce that the board has wholeheartedly and enthusiastically agreed to invite Brett McBride to serve... This is Brett and Stephanie. Uh, just to finish it off here, the Brett have, has attended this church, for those of you who don't know Brett, for many years, and he's already well-known and well-loved. And the good news is Brett has accepted this opportunity. You see. <laughs> So maybe once again, let's, let's uh, welcome with a very warm people's welcome, Brett and Stephanie. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 18 years ago, this very month, just down the road at the Don Valley Parkway on Shepherd Avenue, a member from People's Church challenged me on where my life was headed, because I, like the prodigal son, was running away from God. And God used a member from this church to lead me into a relationship with Jesus Christ. I remember spending my first Easter here, during the Easter service, the Good Friday service, sitting up on that balcony over there, weeping my eyes out, because I was just amazed that God would forgive 
a sinner like me. And I wanted the whole world to know that if he could save a sinner like me, he could save anyone. Six months after I started attending the People's Church, 18 years ago, I heard Tony Campolo speak on this very stage during our global outreach conference and heard God's call into ministry where I was sent to the inner city of Philadelphia where I met my wife, Stephanie. Upon my return to Toronto, I knew that God was calling me into full-time ministry and it was confirmed by the church standing with me for the last 17 years, standing with us and our family to serve those people in our city who will never enter a church door, to serve those outside the church. And most recently, I really, truly believe God has called me to be a part of the people's church, to serve alongside the team here, and to serve alongside each one of you to reach out for the thousands of people in our city who will never enter a church door. And to be partners with our global partners, again, to reach out for the millions of people who will never enter a church door. If you had told me 18 years ago that I would be standing on this stage, I wouldn't have believed you. And there's much more to this story that I'll share on another occasion when I have time. But it is a testimony to God's amazing grace. And I look forward to serving with the team here and serving with you. Thank you very much. Okay, I thought it'd be kind of neat uh, just to pray for Brett and Stephanie as they embark on this new role. And I thought we'd go to one of the people who've been in this church a long, long time, I wouldn't even ask how long, uh, for Art. And for Art to pray for Brett in terms of the going forward. And then we're going to ask Hilary Price to pray for Stephanie in her new role as a pastor and, and also for the family as well, the kids. Precious Heavenly Father, what an awesome privilege to be able to be able to come to the throne of grace in prayer, to a living Savior, not made of wood or stone, but a prayer hearing and a prayer answering God. And Lord, we know that the board and the church has been praying for a new pastor. Thank you, Lord, for answering that prayer. And we commit Brad into your precious care, Lord. I know that taking on such an awesome responsibility, Satan would do a number on him and cause him to fear. But precious Lord, we know that he has been called and that you will equip him. And you'll anoint his lips as he proclaims the precious truths. Guide him, guard him, and protect him, precious Heavenly Father, we pray. These things we ask in your most precious and holy name. Amen. Let's pray for Steph. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for Stephanie. Thank you for the lovely, beautiful person she is in you. Thank you for her family. Thank you for Jaden and Caleb, the boys. And thank you, Lord, that over the next uh, months, as she and Brett prepare to step into this role, that she doesn't have to change anything. She just has to remain in your love. Thank you that she knows your love. She knows who she is in you. Thank you that in the quiet place, she has a deep relationship with you and a deep compassion for the people around her. I pray for her. I pray, Lord, when fears arise, that you would quell them, that you would comfort her, that you would encourage her, that you would empower her, that you would lead her into a place of trust where she doesn't skip a beat. She just walks in her relationship into this role with you in the summer, next summer. We thank you for Brett and Steph. I pray for their marriage over the next months. I pray you would protect them. You would enable them to encourage each other, see each other, hear each other and be strong in you as they walk into this new role. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Good.
Well, this is a wonderful day. And uh, as you leave this morning, you will be given a copy of a little brochure introducing our new lead pastor. And in it, there's also a transition timetable in case you wonder what the process is. Brett will join our staff on March the 1st. And uh, he and I will work alongside each other until May the 1st when we will have an induction of Brett into the role of the lead pastor here. And then I will work alongside Brett for the next two months, uh, finishing at the end of June. So that's the, uh, the schedule, but it's in here, plus a little background to, uh, to him and to his family, and a, a great picture that you can put on your fridge or keep in your Bible <laughs> or on your dartboard, wherever you keep these things. <laughs> and... Uh, that remind you to be praying over these next days, not just for our transition, but the transition of uh, Urban Promise, where Brett has been such a valued leader as they transition too into new leadership there.